Hey everyone, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess. Let's see how it goes. I'll try to be as instructive as possible throughout the game. Before we start, I would request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on videos that I'm putting up daily. I hope there's something to be learned for everyone from here. And yep, let's start. Got the white pieces here. We'll try to play the London system. So d4. Bishop on f4. And then pawn to e3. Knight to f3. The other knight on d2. The bishop on d3. That's how the London system works. Then probably queen e2 and then castle on the queen side. Okay, he probably understands what I'm trying to do. So we'll try and create some slight variations in our game, just developing pieces a bit differently. For example, bishop comes to b5 now, rather than going to d3. And now the knight hops in over e5. I'm threatening the knight with a couple of pieces. The knight is pinned as well because of the king. Okay, he tries to stop. But there he loses something, I believe. And that's his pawn chain. And here comes the extra pawn. Who doesn't like extra pawns? Well, now probably I can continue with the normal game. Get the other knight or maybe... Now if he plays queen uh, on b7, he's tracking the knight as well as threatening to take on uh, the b pawn. So I'll just make sure that that doesn't happen. Playing b3 here. Trying to go for bishop exchange. The dark square bishop is important. I'll just bring it back. He can take now. That opens up the h file after he takes. So he doesn't. Now, can I take? Yes. And that would fork his queen and king. That's over. I believe. Oh, he doesn't resign still. He will eventually. Okay, let's play pawn c3 here. The idea is to defend the c pawn with the knight now. He takes on the knight. I can take back. After he takes, I can simply castle or first exchange the rooks. Let's exchange. And now castle. I like the spirit of not giving up. You and I would have done the same in this situation. Oh, the knight is coming to a good square. And then I'll not be able to take on the rook as well if I'm challenging it. Can I stop him from coming? I doubt. Okay, I think queen to a1 is the way to play it, attacking the rook. And now probably I can go for rook exchange. If he doesn't, that's somehow going to the last rank, so he takes. Okay, it's knight versus the queen at the end. I just don't have to do any silly mistake here, that's it. The knight should not trouble much. And he resigns. The game was pretty much over when I forked uh, both his pieces. It was a quick win. We we'll quickly analyze. Uh, basically, there was nothing much there. D4, D5. Uh, bishop to F4, playing the London system. 
he did a switch up first on f5 and i respond with pawn to e6 e3 he develops knight to f6 so knight f3 just delaying the bishop development uh, generally otherwise bishop would have come out first and after he plays knight to c6 that gives a good square for the bishop yes the best move in the situation and here he had to take back his bishop to defend that diagonal but he tries to play e6 solidifying his center but that gives space for the knight to go on e5 and probably the move uh, d7 knight to d7 was also fine here i take he takes back i take back the pawn and now eventually i got a pawn extra but then he saves the queen uh, it's just point six in favor of white here i played b3 and i explained the threats his the threat was if he plays queen to and that was a tricky move suppose uh, after he plays queen to um, c8 and i play some random move say uh, pawn to h3 the idea is that the queen will now come on uh, b7 attacking the knight as well as the pawn on uh, the b b2 so after i save the knight he can probably take on the b pawn and now lots of things are going to fall apart after i save my knight the pawn is hanging so he can take back with the bishop and that can just lead to crumbling from here on and he's already ahead see even if i'm offering him the queen exchange he can get his bishop as well and in this case white is pretty much behind so that could have been a way uh, but i saw that coming so played uh, b3 here and after that he develops his bishop on the offering bishop exchange i just took it back not willing to exchange and he castles that's the biggest mistake because now he's losing a piece at least so here also he could have saved the game by at least not taking up the bishop with his pawn but probably he didn't see the knight move and there goes knight forking the king and the queen and that's pretty much over after i take just trying to exchange some pieces that was also i think uh, a bit strange because when you are piece down you are par down you should not go for exchanges rather let the opponent actually wants to go for exchange and create make sure that there is no pressure of the uh, other pieces remaining but he went for the exchange that was very much good for me and then he takes on the pawn i'll make sure that the rooks are exchanged i exchange the rooks and thereafter just castle the knight of course here also there was one small thing which i wanted to highlight if i play queen uh, to d2 here the knight can hop in and now i can't take on the queen i cannot so i have to just go back maybe i could have then gone to uh yep that was the right square b2 so i just wanted his knight not to come to my side so what i played in the game was uh, queen to a1 attacking the rook and he comes down he's trying to make sure that in next move probably his knight can come in and he can create some troubles uh on the f2 if i remove my rook from there for exchange so i first exchange the rook he had to take i take back and now it's game over almost yeah and he designs so yeah a quick quick win a uh, couple of things to be learned uh don't leave your pawns hanging uh, which he did uh, extra pawn he gave in the beginning then uh for white also there was a tricky move uh queen coming to b7 so have to be aware there that what can happen in the beginning itself once uh we can play queen to b2 here if you are just a bit uh passive in your development so queen to b2 would have lost the game for white here and also uh after I took on the bishop he could have probably let that be and move his queen to queen away before taking the bishop so whenever you're going for exchanges uh, don't just do that immediately see the consequences of that properly and one last thing over here to be learned was uh and he went for bishop exchange probably yeah when you are par down you should not go for exchanges for sure try to hang in there and win it from there but make sure that you trouble the opponent at least give him some fight even after peace down but here he just exchanged the pieces and that was pretty easy 
Right, thank you so much for your time. I hope there was something to be learned from here. Keep watching and sharing the videos. Please do subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out videos that I'm putting up daily. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.